Hey guys, today is Bat Invader day 11 and if you were watching yesterday's vlog you will know that it was vlog nomination day. So I was nominated by Angela Scarns to draw her portrait and I've been working hard with all my pencils and this is my picture of Angela Scarns. I've even given her a little halo and some wings and there's her big 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 eyes and a lovely smile and and her necklace don't forget the necklace can you see that always wears beautiful jewelry so that's Angela Scans if there's anybody else that I've missed so far that may have nominated me to draw that picture I will catch up later this week I promise because I haven't had time to catch up with all your vlogs just yet um, and that's because I have been back on my training regime for the Great North Run so Here's my booper number. I am runner 37,516. Because there are 55,000 people taking part in this 13.1 mile race. It's a half marathon around Newcastle. And it's one of the biggest, if not the biggest, um, international uh, half marathons. It gets lots of press attention. And mile 8 to 12 is uphill. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. Not good at uphills. Nice long distance, steady, awesome. Uphill takes a lot out of you if you've tried it before. But while I'm on that subject, Charlie Sharp, well done. I know that you did the Alpine Marathon um, just this weekend and uh, that was pretty epic because all of that was uphill. So super well done, really, really proud of you. And so was the rest of the band hall team office. So what was I doing in my training session tonight? I was working on my legs, I was doing leg presses, um, I was doing interval training with uh, hills, which was a little bit tough because I've not been very hungry lately, so uh, energy levels are a little bit low, I need to work on that, I need to get lots of food, lots of carbs, lots of protein in, so I can have super energy to do my training. And what better motivation than to hear this evening that not only is, only is my sister chasing my tail on my 5k times, but my dad has just completely thrashed it. So my current record stands at 30 minutes and one second. My sister tonight got 34 minutes 34, which is awesome. That's a personal best for her. And my dad came in at 28 minutes and 27 seconds. We are going to have words on the road. Oh yes, daddy -o, I am coming for you. You've been warned. But seriously, super well done. It's really, really good. Especially because you're like old and stuff. Um, so tomorrow I am going to be back in the gym to do some ladder training, which is where you jump around over ladders with your legs, looking like you're doing like a jungle hip hop move. Um, and that's to kind of get my knees up and make sure that I am getting the right technique. Also got some more interval training and then some arms as well so I can balance it out so I'm not all just muscly thighs at the bottom and then dangly arms at the top. And why am I doing this you might ask? Well uh, it started with a little bit of a push from my sister who couldn't take part in a half marathon she'd signed up for at the beginning of the year then escalated into me doing training for a marathon and I've become a little bit of an addict when it comes to fitness now. Uh, and I love seeing the results. I love the fact that I feel good and that my genes fit better and that, um, yeah, that I just feel really healthy and well. I think it's really important whether you're just walking every day or doing something small, big, doesn't matter, uh, to get out there and to stay fit and healthy. Diet is a massive, massive part of that, which is why I was telling myself up earlier, we need to eat lots more. Uh, yes. The other reason I'm doing it is because the pandas made me do it. That's right. Um, I am running for the WWF UK and we, together, my dad and I, are aiming to raise £700. I think between us at the moment we currently stand at about 200 So only 500 to go and we are running a raffle. Uh, where we've got prizes including lovely bottles of wine. Um, we have an iPad case, very stylish, chic iPad case. Um, we have some WWF goodies, including this little man. Mm -hmm. You can win this. You can. Isn't he cute? Super cute. Really, really cute. 
almost as cute as Mocha the hamster. Not quite, almost. But yeah, we're running to raise awareness for all the animals that are endangered and all the communities that need our support to educate them and to help them live in environments where, for example, India, where tigers, they're very, very rare, but they're still there and they tend to get in the way of things from time to time and get a little bit hungry and um, tigery. And what WWF do is actually get in there and educate the people to live alongside animals like the tigers so that they can maintain that environment for them and keep both the people and the tigers safe. And that's just one example of many, many things that they do. Um, so yeah, fitness for health, fitness for feeling good and fitness for doing good as well. And then the last thing I want to talk about before we sign off is I know everybody who's watching this will know that today was a very, very sad day because the news broke that Robin Williams um, sadly took his own life. And uh, I guess this is another really, really big issue when it comes to health and fitness is mental health. Um, depression is a crippling thing and um, it's not to be overlooked. So if you know somebody who is down or is having a tough time right now, um, be there, don't be all over them. Don't be like, oh my God, are you okay, are you okay? Because that's even worse. Um, and I'm speaking from experience. It is really, really important to just be there, let them know they're there and support them through the tough times. Um, Robin, if you're listening, you were amazing. Uh, I think I will always remember you for Morka Mindy, which I grew up with. Uh, I loved you in Hook and uh, the fact that you were the voice of Aladdin, or Aladdin, as everybody else says, we say in the office at Baton Hall, Aladdin, for lots and lots of reasons, which I'm sure I'll get fresher on camera for at some point to tell you why. Um, and just for generally, Robin, for being absolutely brilliant in terms of your acting skills, your comedy, and just the gift of laughter and inspiration that you gave to the world. Whew. So today's vlog was long, wasn't it? So I'm going to cut right now. I'll be back tomorrow. Um, and this is me signing off. Nanu, nanu.